90s PC gaming on a microcontroller, an ESP32 wireless boost, and benchtop machinery that you can 3D print at home. Here are three maker stories you might have missed. About a month ago, EA Games open sourced the legendary 1996 Command and Conquer Red Alert, and Fossidon user Charlie Burks has since ported it to the Raspberry Pi Pico 2, as in the full game runs on the Pico. Now it isn't a standard Pico, it's the Pimeroni version with a bit more flash memory and it uses the Pimeroni VGA board to get that VGA video output, but the full game is running on a Pico 2, which is just insane. We've seen the Pico 1 running Doom, but this is just another tier up from that. And of course, if you want to compile it and run it your own, they've made it freely available, but it's still a work in progress. Have you ever used one of those tiny ESP32 C3 boards and been a bit disappointed by the wireless performance of that SMD antenna? Well, there is a fix for that. Peter Newfield posted on his blog some instructions of how to make a little antenna that you can whack on it with just a few centimeters of wire. The fix seems a bit simple and maybe a little bit jank, but he found that it effectively doubled the range and greatly increased the stability, and he's got a really great write-up on it. You should go check it out, and if you do use one of these boards, it's definitely worth checking it. And something that's been burning in the background of the 3D printing world is the ability to make your own benchtop machinery. The best example of this is the work by Chris Borge, who has plans that allow you to make CNC mills, lathes, tapping devices, drill presses, magnetic vices, and just a whole bunch of other helpful things around the workshop. He's got this awesome thing going of filling 3D prints with concrete to give them some beef and weight to them. He's got great YouTube videos on it. Just check it out. It's amazing work that you can replicate yourself. And if you want to follow the sources or submit your own news for next week, you'll find a link to our forums in the bio.